Hi George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card, the idea for this card came off Pinterest by Split State Stampers. I'm sure that who it is. Forgive me if it's wrong. Um, I just like the way it was. I know it's a retired um, not stamper, well stamp yeah, retired but I did say last week when I was starting my cards that I will be using retired stuff and non-stamping up stuff with my Christmas cards. To make this card I've used the dies from Carols of Christmas and I've used, I've got to get them out because we're going to cut them, these trees. And the Merry Christmas is from the stamp set Star of Light. Just taking the Merry Christmas out of there. Alright, I've got an embossing folder. Just a generic one, there's no name on it. And all it is is snowflakes. Can you see that? You can't, can you? Look at that. There. Snowflakes. And that is what the background is, and I've already done that here. Yeah. Just lovely little snowflakes. So, card wise, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I've also got a piece for the inside, which I shall glue down now which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've already stamped a sentiment on it uh, it says hoping your season brings heartwarming memories and that is out of the snowman set I can't remember what it's called at the moment the current set so I have used some at current I have got right, a gold piece of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I have an embossed piece of 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. I have another piece of gold at 4 and 1 eighths by 2 and no, by 4 and a quarter by 3 inches. So I have the white piece at four and one eighth by two and seven eighths. That sits on top. And I also have a green piece of paper. See, trying to find a piece of green paper. I've, I've got none. So I found this. And this is at the Lily uh, papers that we got for a celebration. And I've just turned it over and I'm going to use this like I did on here. Good through background trees, a little bit of character instead of just being blank. And that is, that will need trimming down. It's about two and a half inches. Yeah, two and a half inches by four inches, but like I said, I'll need to trim it down once I've cut the trees. So, to get started, we need this to cut out these trees. Now I have to bring up the big shot, got no choice because this piece of card, my card, is too big for my sidekick. So bear with me, just trying to make room for it. see what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to put, I oh, know I want it that way, I'm going to put the trees on like that. Can you see? The single one is lower than the double one, but the double one a bit higher.
just so I can stamp there. So, part down and run it through, run it back. Did I go all the way? Yeah. Grotty plates back on. Oh. Sorry about that. Right, so there is our trees cut. Now, if I put them on like that, they're just going to be plain gold. So what we need is our green piece of paper underneath and that will transform the trees into nice green ones. But that needs trimming down just a tad. on there. Now we need to release these trees. Those are trees. Put these back in here. Right, let's stick this paper on. So what I'm going to do is just glue around the trees. Stuck to that. Oh, I forgot to stamp it. Right. stamp and my old roll of ink and I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas just there like that these once it's on my card base we'll get put on there with dimensionals like that so let's get sticking things down I don't know where this embossing folder come from I don't know if it was one of mine or one of my friends, Brenda's, when I got her craft room stuff when she passed away. I don't know. Trouble is, I don't know where half my stuff comes from. I've had it that long. I 
got a funny feeling it's one of Brenda's um, folders. So I did get quite a few embossing folders from her. This is going on dimensionals. And we'll pop that in the middle. Yep. And then we need to pop these on dimensionals. Now I did put a big one at the bottom. And then some mini dimensionals up the tree. sure they're not showing. Right, I know I have to cut one of these in half for the top of the other two trees. When I place these, I place them just below the cutout and cover in my right hand side. So this bit will get covered and I place it just below the cutout. So it's staggered. And the same with this one, just below and to the edge of it. Put them away out of the way. Right, all we've got left to do is put some gems on. And I'm using my gold gems. And I put two... Yeah, one there, one up there, and one there. So many is that? Two, three, four, five. Five gems. And there we have it, my Christmas card for today. Always better. Let me like them, 
if you do give us a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos we upload I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is like, thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.